Hi, I am Dr. Sudhir Mahashi, Assistant Professor Gastroenterology, SMS Medical College and Hospital. I am the primary author of this article. Hello, I am Dr. S.S. Sarma, Senior Professor Gastroenterology, uh, SMS Medical College, Jaipur, India. I am the corresponding author of this article. I am highly thankful to the editorial board of GI Endoscopy for accepting our article. So today we are here to discuss our recently accepted original manuscript in GI Endoscopy early pre-cut versus primary pre-cut to reduce post-ERC pancreatitis a randomized control trial. In this study, we concluded that primary pre-cut in expert endoscopist hand result in low risk of post-ERC pancreatitis. So, Professor Sharma, it was widespread belief that post-ERC pancreatitis is more common in pre-cut procedure and most of the expert endoscopists used to avoid pre-cut procedure during conventional cannulation techniques. So, where did this idea come from? Actually, for last 30 years, I have been doing ERCP and I have realized that uh, once you do early pre-cut, the incidence of pancreatitis is much lower as compared to the conventional pre-cut. And the recent literature for last 4 or 5 years that suggests that early pre-cut is preventive for post-ERC pancreatitis and there is a less incidence of post-ERC pancreatitis. So, both these things when came in mind, we thought we should plan a study where we do primary pre-cut where the therapeutic indication is definite and compare it with the early pre-cut. That was the reason we had an idea of doing this study. So some of the studies in the past proved the efficacy of early pre-cut and recently few studies proved the efficacy of primary fistulotomy. Yeah. So what does our study adds to existing knowledge? Actually uh, fistul fistulotomy and pre-cut, they are similar techniques except the extension of the or extent of the incision. In fistulotomy, a small incision is made in the upper part of the ampulla where entry of the bile duct is anticipated while in the pre-cut, we extend the incision up to the ampullary orifice. So in fistulotomy, we get a less space for therapeutic interventions while in primary pre-cut, we get a more space. So uh, basically the techniques are same but the extent of incision is different. So uh, since we require uh, therapeutic interventions, we thought we should do primary pre-cut rather than only fistulotomy. Most of the advanced center, even in expert endoscopists, yeah. try to avoid pre-cut because they are afraid of post-ERCP complications. Yeah. So please elaborate standard pre-cut procedure with certain do's and don'ts. Actually, uh, there is a more of fear regarding the pre-cut techniques. It has already been mentioned in various conferences as well as in textbook that it is a risky risk factor for the pancreatitis. So most of the people don't dare to to uh, start with pre-cut or do pre-cut and they do pre-cut in the last attempt. So uh, if it is done properly, it is not a risky procedure. So uh, ideally the pre-cut should be done, uh, once you should see the ampulla, you should inspect the ampulla and should see whether it is suitable for pre-cut or not. There are certain ampullas which are not suitable for the pre-cut like ampullas inside the diverticulum. Ampulla situated at the edge of diverticulum with the opening facing inside the diverticulum or patient having coagulation disorders, uh, uh, thrombocytopenia or patients uh, where this ampulla is very small covered with multiple folds. Once you uh, exclude all these things and if you see uh, the ampulla clearly then you should make a trial run over the ampulla to see with, uh, whether you want to do upside down or below upwards pre-cut. So uh, depending upon, upon the convenience of the operator one can do upside down or below upwards pre-cut. In, from below, uh, in a below pre, uh, upward pre-cut, one should start at the ampullary orifice. One should engage the needle, which is 2 to 3 mm outside the sheath of the papillotom. One should engage it at the upper lip of the ampullary orifice. And one, one should cut it upwards with the upwards pressure. And while cutting, the electric current should be applied. The cautery current should be applied. It should not be applied when the needle is static because it will cause localized burn effect or coagulation effect at the site where it is applied. So while moving the needle, one should apply the cautery current and one should cut in such a way uh, uh, that there is a separation effect over the ampulla. And once you reach that upper part, you will see a ampullary mound or a elevated area which is the which is the lower end of the bile duct. A little bit cutting over that, you, one should one will enter into the bile duct. So by following the proper technique and by avoiding the too much needle inside the ampullary tissue, one can avoid complications and one can do safe pre-cut. So perfect. It is not a risky procedure now. 
so um, most of the centers in uh, endoscopic training center it is practice that trainees usually avoid pre cut they are afraid of doing pre cut so what message would you like to give to trainees actually trainees are never taught the actual techniques of pre cut because most of the people don't like pre cut because they think that is a risk factor for the pancreatitis which is not the case so all the trainees during the training period should be taught about the pre cut and the pre cut should be part of the curriculum of their teaching and they should be uh, made uh, under to made to understand that pre cut is a safe procedure and how it is done they should be taught do you have any ampullary preference for primary pre cut yes uh ideally if you are expert and have a lot of experience you can do pre cut in any ampulla but uh, as i told you ampulla inside the diverticulum at the edge of the diverticulum small ampulla with multiple folds they should be avoided by the beginner and type 3 ampulla which is large bulky facing downwards it is the ideal ampulla for the pre cut and in these ampulla if you try conventional techniques the incidence of pancreatitis is more and if you do primary pre cut i hope incidence will be much less so some of the few studies and our this recently uh, accepted manuscript yeah. will establish the efficacy and safety of primary precursors so what do you think what should come next from research perspective actually this study is uh, centered at one center so multiple centers around the world they should try primary precursor by the experienced endoscopist and they should see whether this is a safe procedure or not then only it can be established as a uh, safe technique so more and more studies are required to establish this uh, primary bucket as a safe process so with this discussion we would like to conclude this study as primary precut is a safe procedure by an expert endoscopist hand and it reduce the post ercp pancreatitis one should avoid repetitive cannulation during conventional procedure and hopefully this article will encourage endoscopists to do more primary precut with keeping the fact in mind that primary precut is safe and effective in experts hand once again we are thankful to editors of gi endoscopy team thank, thank you, you.